The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. God would not be so unjust as to forget all you have done, the love that you have for his name, or the services you have done and are still doing for the holy people of God. Our desire is that every one of you should go on showing the same enthusiasm till the ultimate fulfillment of your hope, never growing careless, but taking as your model those who by their faith and perseverance are heirs of the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, he swore by his own self, since there was no one greater he could swear by. I will shower blessings on you and give you many descendants. Because of that, Abraham persevered and received fulfillment of the promise. Human beings, of course, swear an oath by something greater than themselves. And between them, confirmation by an oath puts an end to all dispute. In the same way, when God wanted to show the heirs of the promise even more clearly how unalterable his plan was, he conveyed it by an oath, so that through two unalterable factors in which God could not be lying, we who have fled to him might have a vigorous encouragement to grasp the hope held out to us. This is the anchor our souls have, reaching right through inside the curtain where Jesus has entered as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever of the order of Melchizedek. And our response is taken from Psalm 111. Alleluia. I will give thanks to Yahweh with all my heart in the meeting place of honest people, in the assembly. Great are the deeds of Yahweh to be pondered by all who delight in them. He gives us a memorial of his great deeds. Yahweh is mercy and tenderness. He gives food to those who fear him. He keeps his covenant ever in mind. Deliverance he sends to his people. His covenant he imposes forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The root of wisdom is fear of Yahweh. Those who attain it are wise. His praise will continue forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. It happened one Sabbath day that Jesus was taking a walk through the cornfields and his disciples began to make a path by plucking ears of corn. And the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing something on the Sabbath day that is forbidden? And he replied, Have you never read what David did in his time of need when he and his followers were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the loaves of the offering which only the priests are allowed to eat, and how he also gave some to the men with him. And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is master, even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord.